Hi, we're the Weasley Sisters. This is episode 96. I'm Jessica, a.k.a. Naturally Nitty. And I'm Alina, a.k.a. Starnet. Today is January 14th. Welcome. If this is your first time watching, thanks for watching. If you're coming back and you're a regular listener or watcher, thank you for coming back. Yes. So, grab your knitting or whatever your craft is and pull up a chair and enjoy. First up we have Mojo. Do you have anything that you finished? Um, yes. I do not. Part of, oop, losing a needle. Part of my newt, um, besides the two blankets, because it was a care of magical creatures, so I had to have like at least three things. So I made mittens for Trubin, and then I have mitts for Leah. Oh, um, And I left the thumbs like all garter, because I didn't follow a pattern and I just went with it. Um, the funny thing is though, they're like super stretchy, so like I can shove my hand in there. <laughs> but she tried them on and they fit her too. Um, but yeah, actually like I'm weaving the ends on the second one. So they're oh. finished to me. Um, I also made a hat for a friend, well, I, well, I pretty much made it, I just didn't do the ribbing. Um, that one that that friend gave you that couldn't finish it? Yeah, cause she's a little baby and takes up her time and all that, so I said, sure, I will finish it. Um, here's a really horrible picture. I linked to a better one that's on Flickr, um, but this one. Oh, that's cute. It was the Irish Moss Toque. Is that how you say that? Um, yes. Um, I don't... Whatever. Had lots of cables. It's cute. There's pictures on Flickr if you really want to see it. I didn't put it on my project pages because I guess I could. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I did cables, so it was kind of fun. And then I did a Quidditch square, or a square for Quidditch for the practice, um, event, which ends tomorrow. It does. That's a good idea to do a square. Yeah, for the Slytherin, um, baby blanket shower thing that's, like, ongoing. You can send in 8 by 8 inch squares. Um, you just have to contact Peanut's mom for an address on where to send it, which I still have to send it out. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I have a picture that, well, I have a, like a half finished picture. There's another picture on my project page, which I think I linked to. Um, I use purple, like it's Karen Simply Soft. It has to be washable. Okay. Um, but it looks like blue almost in all the pictures I've taken, but it's more like a purple. Oh, that is really pretty. But it's called the um, 678 square, and it's a cool pattern um, because you can make it to 6 inches, 7 inches, or 8 inches. It, like, tells you when to stop for each one. Amazing. I would never have guessed that from this name. <laughs> I know, right? Um, my uh, nestmate, Deba, works, showed me that pattern. That's awesome. So yeah, so I did that quick the other day, and that's it. Cool. I have no finished objects. Oh, well, good. I'm not good, but, like, I felt very lame in my finishings. Um, sorry, as you were talking, I was typing in some more stuff because I forgot to type them in earlier. So, next up we have works in progress. What are you working on? Well... Put that down. I guess that's not getting woven in today. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um. I have the new blanket. Oh, it looks good. I got my extra yarn. Um, so, and I'm on that now. So I only have five more balls to work through. And I have to finish this. Oops. By the end of the month for 50%. Um, 
but it's going well. I just have to like trim off ends. I've been like crocheting them in as I go. And it's not like the prettiest. I don't know if I showed this before. And it's like a lot thicker on the edge compared to like the other yeah. parts. But that's but where I don't maybe, care. But that's where she, you'll be like grabbing it anyway, so I think it'd be fine. Well, and like so I tied knots and then I like crocheted with like two strands and three strands at some point. Um, just to secure them because I hate weaving in ends and that was part of my uh, proposal too. Um, but I think I want to do a, a border. Do you think just a single crochet or like do I do the the triple I would do a oh, cluster like, in each hole. Oh like do the like, pattern? Yeah just one once around. I don't know. I think a single crochet would make it look super like a frame. Okay. That makes sense. Like it would be frame. Yeah. So but I, you would want to do like, you know, when you pick up to knit, you would kind of want to do that. Like three single crochets for every four. Ooh, good to know. Because if you do it in every hole, it's going to go like this. Wonky. Yeah. Um, and then on this side where it's all kind of big and puffy, I don't know. I'll have to see. Um, I have one extra ball of yarn allotted for that, so I hope that works. Well, you could just leave it. What? Yeah. I never said I was going to edge it. And it's big enough. I laid it down on their her bed, and it's, like, pretty close to... I mean, I could stop now if I wanted to, but it's not the size. Um, but it keeps me cozy when I'm working on it. Um, I also have another chunky hat... <laughs> that I'm making. Um, Are these still the ones you were commissioned to make? No, I gave those out already. Um, this one's just green. Cool. I'm doing like a different stitch pattern though. I'm knitting three and purling three. But I had like multiples of three plus one stitch so I'm just keep on going around so it's gonna like spiral around um, and I think it might be for me we'll see because I want a slouchy hat cool that's it though okay I am currently working on my Shalom cardigan is upstairs I did not bring it down it's like for what I knit on when I'm upstairs watching the Blu-ray player or whatever. But I hurt my back, so I haven't been able to sit. Like we have a full mattress, so you have to sit on your be our bed and you sink in, and it doesn't help my back any to sit on that. So I haven't been up there working on it. But that's okay because to get my 50%, I have to have my Hermione sweater, um, the front done, and half of the arms. So I've been working on my Hermione sweater, and you will notice there are sleeve separation. Yay! And I started on the reverse garter stitch. Very nice. Yeah. And I just have to tell my, like, at first I was like, oh, that sucks. I hate doing all this purl. And then I was like, dude, I would be purling anyways because you have to purl on the inside normally. So it's just like the opposite. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> it just seems like it's more work because it's on the outside. <laughs> and then, oh, I can reach it. Okay. My, uh, we, uh, on Christmas, Christmas star house, so my uh, stuff is normal again, and my, uh, bike's over there. I'm also working on my slouchy hat, which is cables. Um, and I, I'm using it, um, as my carry around and cardio knit right now. Okay. But at the end of the month, I'll have to get a new cardio knit pattern. So that's the front. And it's pretty, pretty going pretty well. Like, I'll try it on. I have a stick in my hair. Just a minute. <laughs> okay. See? It's like at the size of a normal hat. Of a normal hat, so I would normally start decreasing, but I'm just going to keep knitting. 
Very cool. I like the color. It looks good on you. <clears throat> Should I wear it the rest of my hair? <laughs> if you want to, you got like yarn hanging up. I know. Okay. So that's all I'm working on. Okay. So next up, I have to scroll down because I don't know what. Spin. You spin me right round. Oh. Are you spinning on anything? No. Oh. Though today I went looking, I want to do some core spinning because yours like made it's me want really to. Awesome. It's so pretty. Um, so I went looking at the yarn shop. I wanted to try because I watched some of the videos you had on your YouTube account. Um, and I saw the one where she plied, but then one of them was like sparkly kind of or silver or whatever. Yeah. So I was looking for something like that. And all I found was gold, and I am not a gold fan. I like silver. Um, so I didn't get it. But then I was looking, they, they have a lot of weaving stuff there too, and I almost got like some giant cones of like really thin, unmercerized cotton. Um, so kind of like, I'll say dishcloth cotton, but not. Um, very thin, it was like a two-ply. I almost got that just to like use as the core to apply two of them together, um, but then I was like, no, I'm not going to waste my money on that. Because I remembered um, going to like Goodwill or Bethesda or something like that, um, they always have cones of crappy acrylic yarn. Do they? I've, like if you look in their little crafting area, um, so because I remember the last time that I was there, there was like a big cone of like this nasty baby pink stuff. And I was like, ew, who would want that? And now I'm like, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, just for the core. So I might go looking tomorrow to see if I can score that or if somewhere else has some. Because well, I don't want to pay a ton for the core yarn. Right. Well, if you um, use the acrylic, you want a kind that'll be that'll catch your core. Well, that's also why I wasn't sure about the cotton, because I thought I saw someone say, don't use cotton, because it's not grabby. Well, yeah. But then I thought, if I'm plying them... Um... Yeah, I think... Um, I don't know. It just depends on what you're making as you're... what you're spinning it around, around it. Right. That... Well, I was... I had some fat fiber... A box um, and then a bunch of different samples of stuff so I think I was just gonna kind of do that um, and then maybe pull off some stuff that I have around too but um yeah so I didn't start but I have been planning it in my head and I also need to make some Rolex um, that I'm gonna spin for a friend of mine well um... So those are two spinning things that I planned. That's cool. If that counts. <laughs> I finished my core spinning. So here it is in one big happy skein. That's awesome. It's as big as my head. How many yards? According to my husband, I have a big head. Um, how many yards? That's a good question. It's like 270 something, 72, 73. Maybe. That's not bad for a big yarn like that. Um, and I actually had a few samples left that it wasn't able to use. Like, I ran out of my core. Oh, okay. So, if you remember, it was basically, it was two skeins. I don't remember which one was which. But when I washed it, I folded a little bit. Like, I did hot and cold and roughed it up a little bit just to make sure it stayed. Mm hmm And so, it, it kind of un... Um... Kinked? Like... When I first had it, it came, It was like this when I took it off. Okay. So after I washed it, it relaxed some. That's which good. Is nice. And I didn't stretch it at all. I just washed it and then dried it. And I started out with four ounces. Like my core was four ounces of yarn that I had spun. And I added and then I weighed it. It's 14 ounces. So it was 10 ounces of wow. stuff on it. Now, like, if you look, like, there's all kinds of stuff. Like, I had a lot of fun because it was, like, using all the different samples. 
Yeah. So there's like all different stuff. And I got like 10 wraps per inch. And then if you look here, like my favorite part, like there were some people, some samples were like locks, like in gore, um, mohair locks, if you see right here. Yeah. It's like really, so I just kind of spun it on so it would like hang off. Hang off, if you could see right there. So, like, there's that. And then there's other one that was um, BFL locks. And the, it's, like, this one right here. Very cool. So, it's, like, all kind of craziness. And I think I'm going to um, knit, like, a, a scarf or something with it. Like, just a big, funky scarf, I think. And it smells good. Though, I have to say, one of the samples really smelled like mothballs, and I shouldn't have spun it up, because it just gave me a headache, and it smelled bad, but I put it on there anyways, because I think the colors were really pretty, and I forget which sample it was. Did the smell wash out? I mean, can you well, smell it now? Shit, it smelled like mothballs, but now it doesn't. That's good. And then I was thinking, well, you know, usually the mothball stays around for a little bit, and then it goes away if you don't have it in mothballs as, as much Right. But when I was first spinning it, I was like, this smells like grandma's house. <laughs> I totally remember coming home from there and, like, just reeking. Yeah, but I, like, <laughs> washed it, it with um, some soak, and I was like, if it doesn't go away, I'll give it another bath and put it in um, white vinegar. Yeah. And then, But it, it went away, so it, you can't smell it anymore, so that's good. Because I was like, man, I shouldn't have done that because now it's going to smell like mothballs, and I'm not going to want to wear it. Yeah. I never actually knit anything with it, but I haven't knit anything with it yet, so it's not a problem. But it's too <laughs> good. And I turned it in for astronomy and everything already. Oh, you. Yeah. And then I um, started a loop bat. Loop. For I've been of... hoarding mine. Like, I don't know why, but I, like, don't want to touch them. Me too. Except for then, like, the last Slytherin swap, I was going to knit something with it and then I did it and I just sent it because I was like it's been sitting in my stash for how long and I have four others yeah that need to be spun so what I did is I took this I took it out because I'm like this one I picked this one it's it was called um, Huntress and it has Merino Nylon and Angelina now I wanted to knit socks So what I did was I separated it, or I pulled it all out of the center pole. Just pulled it out, and then I went and I separated it, and that took like an hour. Where'd you put it when you pulled it all out? Like One on this side of me, and one on this side of me. And then, well actually, as I pulled it out, I rolled it into a ball. Okay. Then, I took that ball and I separated it because I wanted two, because I want self-striping socks that match. Wow. I started spinning um, the blue end, and then I, like, rolled it into a ball. That so looks green. Well, it, it goes from green to blue. This is blue. Blue. Okay. Like a dark blue teal. Oh, okay. So I started spinning the other ball from this one, but I made this ball a center pole, so when I start spinning it, I'm going to do it from the center because I'll end with the green, the dark green, and start with the dark green here. So then I'll end with the blue. So then as I knit from both ends, pow, pow I have self-striping yarn. Magic. That match. But I'm going to Navajo ply it. Okay. And that's like, at first I was just like, oh, I'll spin it and I'll Navajo ply it. And then I was like, wait, then I won't have matching socks. One will be one color. One will be the other color. Yeah. So that's why I separated it. It took a good like two hours. I bet. Put it apart and separate it and get it ready. But it's going to be nice. And I've been spinning it, you know, a little bit. I'll get my wheel up here for a minute. Can you see that? Yes. Very pretty. I'm jealous. I want to spin. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, I just ripped it off. 
But yeah, and so I have it in my little thing. Ripped off. Very cool. So. Yeah, and it's working. It's really nice to spin. I forgot how nice it is to spin normal. Not that core spinning wasn't normal, but... Well, it's not your normal, so that's understandable. It was a totally different experience, core spinning, so... But it's nice, so I've been spinning that, but I've been really trying to to get um, up on my owl so that... Because you turn 50% in next month, but I really like it to be 75% because by the end of the month, that's 75%. Right. So I'm trying to get further ahead. So I've been knitting on this, too. That is a good plan. But yeah, I'm, I'm finally to the, like, no color work part, which is nice. Yeah. Just knitting. So that's, like, mindless TV knitting. Yeah. Is there, I forget, is there shaping or anything in there? I don't think there is. Like, I looked at the pattern and it didn't look like it, but I am going to add some in because that's how I roll. Cool. So the, I actually, like, she didn't have in the pattern to mark the center stitches, the center, like, under the arms, you know? Yeah. Um, but when I cast on for un the under the arms, I, I put a marker in. See? Yep. Which, that's a sushi, in case you didn't know. So, yeah. But, anyway. So, I plan on doing some sort of shaping. But, before I got really far, I tried it on. Like, I tried it on. Like, look at all these ends I have to sew in. Oh, I know. I finished mine. <laughs> like, those well, ends. I'm looking, and there's some holes, so I'm going to have to, like, go in and, like, duplicate stitch right uh, along the join. I'm thinking it wasn't well thought out. Like, I should have just knit it in the round and steaked it. It would have been a lot easier. Yeah. Well thought out in my on my part is what I meant. Right. I tried it on, and the hood, holy cow, is it big. I feel like an elf from <laughs> Lord of the Rings when I put it on, because it's like, covers your face. So, and, you know, but it looks really cool, and I'm really liking it. Like, I like hoods and all, but I, I rarely wear them. Like, ever. I'm going to wear mine right now. See? Yep. I'm totally Lord of the Rings elf here. Looks awesome. <laughs> and that's over my hair stick. And you dyed all that by yourself, right? Or not by yes. yourself, but you hand dyed it. All by myself. All by yourself. Very cool. Yeah. So but, I'm kind of mad, A, that I'm not spinning, but B, I saw on Instagram that there's, I don't even know what it's through, but there's like a hashtag that's spin365. Ooh, that's and they cool. post a spinning picture every single day, or like they spin every day, and I'm just like, aww. We could do that. I know, but it's already like the 14th. Um, and so I feel one, like... I was yeah. just thinking, so pick one day and spin 14 different things. <laughs> Later, Graham. Anyways, um... So yeah, we might have to do some sort of spinning, spin-along type dealy through the podcast sometime soon. Yeah, that would be cool. I just feel like I have so many other things to do, I just don't have time to spin, and it's sad. Well, see, like, I had, I used to do that, but I have tried to vary my um, projects so I don't have a ton of knitting or a ton of crocheting or a ton of just spinning. Yeah. So, like, like, I planned my order mission is a crochet project where my owls are knit. So that leaves classes open for spinning. But I really should probably pick up a Quidditch, do a Quidditch square. Yeah, mine, I knit up in, like, maybe I knit up. I crocheted up in, like, I don't know, an hour or two in the afternoon. Yeah, I should probably do that real quick because that's due tomorrow, right? I believe the 15th, yes. Yeah. So. so, but I have um, been sewing like a special order, which this brings us right to sewing. Anyways, so I've been sewing a special order, so I've been kind of busy that way too. Okay. So that's why I haven't done anything. Though my 
Um, Ness would be like, get on the Quidditch. So I should probably do that. But that's all I have for sewing. Nothing really new. Okay. I don't have anything either. Um, okay, next up is Jim. Our new challenge has started. Um, we'll link to it in the thread. It's not too late to join. You can totally join. What it is, I'm going to read it to you. It started January 13th, which was Monday, also known as yesterday. Or and two days ago, because this won't be posted till tomorrow, which is today for them. Okay. And it'll go through March 31st. The basic premise is it takes 40 days to make a habit. And we know that unless we get fiber reimbursement, we're not working out. So for this one, if you sign up, you just got to sign up and say, hey, I'm doing it. And then you can share if you're on Instagram, Facebook, or Google Plus, your name. Then PM me it for my address and send me 100 grams of sock yarn. Enough for a pair of socks. So then you also need to mark that thing saying, this is from whoever's from. When I get that, I will take pictures of them and post them in our gallery of glory. And also, when you send your sock yarn, send a self-addressed stamped envelope so I can send you back your sock yarn at the end. Not your sock yarn that you sent, but the one you win. But I'm going to randomly draw them. I might do something. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to have people pick. I might do a random draw or I might do like a, some sort of mini contest to where you can pick which one you want. Hmm. But I haven't decided. That might be fun to do like a fun thing. So then also pick a project that you want to work on and share it with us. That's not like a requirement. We I just would like you know. to see things. So take pictures because we like them and then we're going to use the hashtag TWSP cardio challenge and hashtag cardio knitting because we want to make them trend on Facebook, Twitter, and G Google Plus and Instagram. So then every week we're going to have a check-in on Monday where you come in and say, this is what my goal is, and you tell us if you reached your goals for last week. And it's totally like not everyone has to do 500 miles. You just pick the goal that is for you. So you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You're doing it for you. So, yeah. But that's how it is. I think it's awesome. Oh. And you're only required to do one um, cardio knitting session a week. So if you are doing a different workout at your gym, that's fine. You just have to get in one cardio knitting. And that means anything you're doing something cardio like and knitting. So walking, recumbent biking, or I guess spin biking. biking too. Not real biking though, please. Yeah. Be it's safe. Terrible. Don't do anything dangerous. So I got up on Monday and I cardio knit once. Gotcha. And my goal for this week is to do it twice. So I am halfway done. And I've been drinking a ton of water. As my husband would tell you, because I got up like three times last night because I had to pee so bad. <laughs> um, my goal is to do twice, I think, as well. I think that's what I said. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I have been drinking a lot of water, which is also a goal of mine. Because I don't know if it's just winter, but I forget to drink water. Um, well, in the summer, you're hot, so you're like, oh, I'm thirsty. Right. But, like, it'll be, like, dinner time, and I'll be like, I am so thirsty, and I'll, like, down a few glasses, and you realize you're, like, hydrated when you're thirsty, or dehydrated when you're actually thirsty. Yeah. So. And a lot of times, if during the, any time, if you are like, oh, I'm hungry, or I'm tired, and if you drink a glass of water, it'll go away, because it's your body telling you you're thirsty. Hmm. Before you're, like, super thirsty. Good, good. So, yes, come join us. Play along. Get some sock yarn. Yeah. So, random randomness. This is where we talk about random things in any random order. 
So um, I was a fat contributor for this month through the 18th of January. Any item you purchase from the list, and we'll link to it, you can be entered to win stuff. So buy fat. I just did a huge update. Well, not a huge one. Yeah, it was pretty big. And there are some Weasley Sisters bags. Ooh, I didn't see that. In an extra large pocket, which is big enough for a sweater. So, with our Potter Puff faces. So, get your... Yeah, except for this time I ordered them and I made them smaller. Oh, did you? Yeah. I just made the print smaller. So, so you can not... see more of them? That makes sense. Did you like it better? Um, yeah, and I ordered a different, like base fabric okay. so cool. um yeah oh i forgot to bring it over if you talk real quick i'm gonna run and get it okay so i got my christmas present well the first of many it is um a fiber club from joe for, or well from pancake and lulu yarn um um, on Etsy and oops, my hook got in there. Wait, I want to see it. Don't the first it I didn't show it yet. The first um, month was spring dreamy. Oh, that's pretty. Or dream dreamery or dreamy. I can't read her writing. Either way. So it's like green and a little like golden and there's some purple in there. That's very pretty. And a little like pink or, well, I will say lavender, um, but yes, very pretty, and it's, um, merino. Cool. So, yes, I like it. I really like that club. They do really well. Yeah, it's very pretty. I was excited. I was like, oh, Christmas time! <laughs> <laughs> I was very excited. Um, do you want me to keep going, or do you want to show what you got? Oh, yeah, so... Doesn't matter to me. Uh, I got two late birthday presents. Mm. One from Mom and Dad, and it's one of those decals, and it says, My other car is a TARDIS, and it has a TARDIS. I heard about that. So I got that, and Andy goes, That can go on the van. Because you won't be able to see it on the red car. I'm like, Whatever. <laughs> but I actually had gotten uh, I Love the Harry Potter Knit Crochet House Cup one, and it's on a red car. And I got another one to put on the blue car. I cleaned. I can't find it. I don't know where I put them. Hmm. She's got to be somewhere, but I just don't know where. So anyways. But then I also, that from Dawn, it kind of like, kind of a birthday present, but also because she ordered these and they were the wrong size and then they didn't, they didn't take, take backs. Oh. She gave me boots. Very cool. They're like the fuzzy in style ones, and I've been wanting some. Yeah. Actually, I've been wanting some like this, and I've been wanting the kind that you wear up to your like calves. Okay. You know, but I haven't found any that I liked. I'm kind of picky about that stuff. Like, I'll find some. I'm like, ooh, that's nice, but then they'll have like a four inch heel, and I can't even walk in flats. So yeah. whatever. But anyway, so these came, and uh, they didn't fit her, but they fit me perfectly, and awesome. they're so soft. I love mine. They're like, mine are like cheap Target ones, um, but they work and they slide on and they're warm. So yeah, okay. they're super warm. Like I wore them um, the other day. Okay, so we had the Arctic Freeze. Did you you had it too? Super cold. We were talking about this last time. Then this week it's been in like the forties. Everything's melted. There's no snow. It's just rainy. We crazy. We have some snow still left, but it's rainy. We had like freezing fog is what it co was called where like when the fog hits whatever is on the ground it freezes right away so like it was so slippery out it was not even funny um i went to pick up joe one night from work and he opened the door of the van and luckily was holding on to the side of the van and his like both his feet went out and he was like holding on. it was very uh comical because i was sitting and not almost falling but um so yeah it was slippery what was i gonna just say oh no monday morning because like last week monday is when it was the coldest right 
Um, I was looking at my phone and I'm like, it says it's 40 degrees out. I'm like, that's an 80 degree difference from what it felt like last Monday. It was like, it felt like negative 42 last week. I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> it feels warm out. I know it's so it's so weird, and I'm like, you know, I it should be like super cold, like you should be wearing like the warm stuff, but like I want to go outside in just a sweatshirt because yeah, it's only thirty degrees out, you know, like. <laughs> but um, no, I don't go outside in just a sweatshirt. I wear a coat because thirty degrees is still pretty cold. I did that today, but it was my hand spun um, alpaca sweater, and if I wear a coat with that, I like overheat. <laughs> That thing is so warm, it's not even funny. That's well, yeah. Um. So that's what I got. Uh, we finally packed up for Christmas. Here, I'll show you. No tree. Oh. That's okay. I don't mind. We have to take our tree down, which I'm not looking forward to. It's on my to-do list. Like, I mean, we just did it, like, this afternoon. And mainly it was because this we get ornaments for the girls every year, but I had forgotten for like two years. So this year we quick ran to the store and bought some to fill in. So the one for Madison for like two years ago was this cardinal that stupid us didn't look. It tweets. Yeah. If you walk by it or turn the light off, it tweets. <laughs> so every time we turn the light off, it would go, you know, tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> So, like, the other day, we turned it off, and it just tweeted for, like, two hours, uh -huh. nonstop. Like, normally, it would just tweet and stop. So, it was broken. So, we put it outside on the wreath outside, and it finally stopped. So, then we brought it in. But then when we packed up, it was tweeting. It was still tweeting when we put it back out in the shed. You probably just froze it to death, and then, like, it came back to life inside. I don't know. That's funny. It is funny. So, but yeah, we picked up, we packed up our Christmas stuff and it's nice. Like it's, there's more room in here and I was already plotting, like rearranging the living room, but Andy was like, you already hurt your back. You don't need to rearrange. And I'm like, yes, but I need to because I'm bored with this arrangement. But he said, no. Oh, guess what I got? I got Mr. Roberto. Ooh, I need to send my critter crawl person out. I've had it for months. I haven't had one for months. So this came... I got an ear burn the other day and um, was notified that I was coming, and I and then this is who I got, and he's hanging out with me. Very cute. He is very cute. I got it, and Bella's like, hey, that's a cool penguin. He's got a <laughs> scarf and a hat on, and they're green. And I'm like, yeah, he's visiting. And she was like, oh. <laughs> I think she wanted to play with him, but. That's funny. So. Oh. I need to take some more pictures with um, Totoro so yeah, that I can write his family. I'm yeah. a bad oh, person. And then, remember I was talking about that Amagurumi book? I finally yes. got This was my Christmas present that I ordered on Christmas Day, and it finally came like yesterday. Is that Mr. T? Yeah. Awesome. So it's not your typical Amagurumi book. Well, it is because it tells you the basics of crocheting in the beginning. But it's not like you can make a Mr. T. What it does is she, um, I really like it. She, like, talks about the face shapes. Like, here's the long and narrow one. Uh -huh. And then um, the short and wide one. And then they have the female ones. And they just have, so you, what you do is kind of, like, pick and choose and make your own That's person. cool. Yeah, and I follow her on Facebook and she was posting someone had shared pictures of um, the ones they made of their family. So, looking through this book, like, I can figure out most of the people on here. Like, they have Justin Bieber. When I told the girls this, they were like, ah, oh, Justin Bieber. I'm like, you like him. <laughs> and they were like, no. And then we were singing his song. But, um, I can figure out who most of the characters are. Like, here, look, this one's Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's awesome. It is. But, there's one in here that I can't figure out who it is. Oh, like, look at this one. This one's Lucy. From I Love Lucy. It's really, really cool. Let me see. 
if I can find it. And then there's like indie. Okay, so there's a few in here that I can't figure out. Like, if I can find the picture. Like this, I don't know it, who that is. Maybe it's her daughter. I don't know, but they don't have them labeled. That's the only, like, thing. And that's just, maybe it's just me because I want to know who it, who's who. Right. But look, look at Tina Turner. <laughs> Pretty cool. I wonder if they couldn't for, like, copyright. Well, I don't see why. Like, or... they're not telling you how to do this person. True. I just wish she would label who they were. Like, I think this is uh, Katy Perry. Okay. From, right? From that uh, California Girls song. I think that's what she was wearing in the one scene. And she has, like, an Annie one, and, and then, like, Willie Nelson, and... I don't know, but I could not figure out who that one girl was. And there's another girl that I couldn't figure out. Yeah. That's cool, though. So do you have plans to make a certain someone? Um... Or your kids or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> church let let me borrow season six and season seven of doctor who so i was thinking of making him a matt smith doctor okay she has in here a pattern for a bow tie and then she also has in here a pattern um for a cowboy hat so i thought i would do the one the version of him when he dies supposedly I'm not ruining the thing for anyone, so. No. You know, that one, for, like, at the beginning of season. Yeah, no, that's uh, cool. Six and seven, with the hat, because I I like the cowboy hat. The Stetson, Stetson's cool. Yeah. So, um, I thought maybe <laughs> I would do that. But I have not decided yet, because I'm, I just finished watching The Angels Take Manhattan. And that was sad. And I'm like, I haven't been able to watch it since. And that was like a week ago. And I'm like in withdrawal. <sighs> so. I might just take a chair upstairs. <laughs> and sit in the corner. <laughs> like the way our bedroom is set up, I would have to sit in like the corner. Because we have a king size bed. <laughs> Whatever works. Right. I got Katie to start watching Doctor Who. I know, that's awesome. Andy really doesn't like it. She says she hates me, like, nonstop for, for it. Because she's, like, obsessed. Or not obsessed, but, like, she's been watching it a lot. She's on Martha now. Oh, I could not stand Martha. What? I could not stand Martha. I don't like either. She likes her, though, so I don't know. But everyone likes different people. Like, some people really, really like Rose. And I liked Rose, but I didn't like love her that much. Like I, I liked liked Rose. But I really liked um, Donna. Like she was my favorite. Okay. And then at first I didn't like Amy, but as I rewatched the seasons, I really, really do like Amy. I really, really, really like Rory. Right. Who doesn't though? But the whole like Amy and Rory together, I like too. So. Um. I got. City of Bones. Oh, cool. It's the first book of um, the Mortal Instruments series. Right. A friend of mine um, said they were good. And so I got like the other books, but I still never had the first one. It finally um, came up. It was my turn at the library, so I get to listen to that. So I'm excited for a new series that, to obsess uh, on. One I'm missing, my library is missing. Like, they have all the other ones, but that one. So I need to find a library that has them so I can borrow them. But I read by that same author, she wrote one called The Clockwork Angel. Yes. The Clockwork Prince and then The Clockwork Princess. I read The Clockwork Angel, and I think I'm halfway through The Clockwork Prince. Or did I finish it? I don't think I finished it. 
And so we were at the library. Okay, and you guys might think I'm super crazy, but I am, I'm not like controlling, but I kind of control what Madison and Bella read or watch. And that's one of the reasons why I read so many young adult books, because I know Madison is going to start wanting to read those. Yeah. Another reason is because sometimes the adult books get way too adult, and I don't really care to read that. Not that I mind. You know what I mean? Like, some of it is just kind of like, whatever. Yeah. But I have to take a break from the teeny angst every once in a while, because that gets really annoying. But anyways. So I read The Clockwork Angel. So but Madison had grabbed this book called Vampire Academy. And um, I guess they're making a movie out of it. Yeah, I saw that. So I I had started reading that book. But it was the kind where I was like, oh, my goodness. Kill me now. Like, I didn't even finish it. <laughs> and for me not to finish a book, it has to be really bad. Like, it was so not good. But, um, uh, where, where is it going? So I was like, I really don't think you should read that book. But you should read, I was like, but these ones w were good. I read them. And she started reading, like, The Clockwork Angel. And she, like, read it in, like, three days. I was so proud. Because I remember reading, like, all the time like that. Yeah. But anyways, um. Yeah, so to make this all go back to you getting the City of Bones. So we read that, and she was like, well, these were, like, prequels. I'm like, well, they kind of were, but not really. They're just, like, the same kind of stuff, but not really prequels. To those of you. So. And she was, like, really mad when she found out that we rented City of Bones and watched it without her. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah. Is and it I good? Read the book, but I have to actually read it because I have the paperback so is the, I, is the movie good it was it was good I liked it like it was there was a lot of stuff I didn't understand because I never read the books so when I actually read the books I'll probably understand it more yeah I've been putting off watching it because I want to read them first well, see and that's what I thought too but I know if I read a book first and then watch a movie I get so mad at it not good. I do, but then, like, you also know, like, so much more that goes yeah. on, or, like, that went into, I don't know. It makes yeah. more sense, I think. Yeah, and I think with that, it would have, like, I, had I not read Clockwork Angel and half of Clockwork Prince, I would have not understood any of it. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. cool. So, that's what I will be doing this next week, is starting that series. <laughs> That's cool. I'm kind of jealous because I still have to find the audiobook, The City of Bones, because I have all the other ones. But that's all for the randomness that I have. Me too. You'll have to tell me if you like that book. No. I don't have um, anything else. I was kind of boring this week. With that, we will talk to you later. Check us out on. Um, the group. I was going to say the blog. Well, I guess we do have a blog. Yeah. The Ravelry group. Pop in. Um, come to our cardio knitting challenge. Yes. I think that's all we have going on. Um, so, yeah. Bye. Bye.